Today on Trisha Goddard. So what are you accusing your sister of doing? Nicking my clothes when I was in prison, um, being a liar, a cheat. We were like that when we were children. Shut the <laughs> up, shut the <laughs> You deliberately stole things from her house? No, I did not de uh, de do it deliberately. You didn't? No. Shoes. And the final one is Jamie. Is it true what you're saying or the rumours that you are helping spread around? Okay. I'm not helping. It's people telling me. We will catch up with you later. We'll send you through that door there. <laughs> okay, now as Jackie makes her way to the interrogation room, remember to keep watching because we'll be uncovering the truth about those missing shoes and that jumper later on. Now, do you know anyone who needs to enter the interrogation room? If you do, give my team a call on 0870 880 That's 0870 880 Or you can get more information by going to my website. Go to 5.tv slash Trisha Goddard and just follow the links. OK, back to Detector Test. That's not what no, your sister is actually... Expert. Let me, let me just explain what it is that your sister who your sister is about to meet. Um, this is a gentleman we call the interrogator. This man was in army intelligence. He worked in some of the toughest theatres of war. He is the interrogator. He uses advanced questioning techniques to expose lies, to uncover untruths, to change lives. McAdam. I don't need you to tell me the truth. I already know when you're lying. I know more about you than you do. I get into your mind. It's not brainwashing, it's brain control. Enter my interrogation room. Hi, welcome back. Now, Jeannie is convinced there's a thief in her family. Her sister, Jackie, stands accused. Now, branded a liar and a thief, Jackie wants to prove her innocence. But is she really hiding a dark secret and her sister's missing clothes? Now, I understand that Jackie is now leaving the interrogation room. Now, while she's on her way back, let's catch up with her sister, Jeannie, and Jackie's fiancé, Jamie. Hi, welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, OK, so if it comes out that she's innocent and she did make a mistake, would then you Then I apologise to her, but I still don't want nothing to do with her. But you would apologise? Yep. And, and what about for you, Jamie? I mean, some of the accusations have been as, is that um, Jackie's been cheating on you and, and what have you. Would you like that cleared up for uh, Yes, I would, yeah, definitely. Then that would shut up any of the rumours? Yeah, of course it would, If yeah. it came out, and I don't know what the answer would be, if it came out that she hasn't been cheating on you, I am guess that, that would shut everybody up. Yeah, what fun. if it came out that she has, though? And she has. Has, then obviously I'd, I would be a bit crushed um, and obviously we would have to obviously have a serious sit down and have a serious talk about it. But you wouldn't whatever. necessarily split up? No, 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 no. Oh, OK, OK. Well, you know, we don't know. Nobody knows exactly what's going on in anyone's uh, relationship. So before we come to what uh, Drew McAdam found out, let's welcome her back. Please welcome back uh, Jackie. Thank you. OK, so let's just have a look and see what went on in the interrogation room. I don't want you to lie to me, because if you do lie to me, I can't protect you when you go out there. And I want to protect you, OK? You know, all these rumours have gone round saying that I've stolen them, all this and that. Right. When her mates actually packed them in my bags right. with my stuff, because they were helping out and clearing the house out but, with... Right, but when you saw the jersey, you did know it was there, didn't you? Yeah. OK. I did know You did know. Now, I'm not saying that stealing it 
but you were aware it was there and you mm. kept it. Yeah. So technically, you nicked it. You did chew on it, didn't you? I kissed someone on earth and actually slept with no one. Yeah. But then as soon as our lips touched each other, we said no, because right. I'm in a happy relationship. There was somebody else. Mm. Remember, I know I'm in your head, OK, so... I do want to say, but I don't want Jamie to know. This is your big chance to go out and start fresh with the person that you love and somebody that I think cherishes you. Would you agree with that? OK. There were a number of physiological responses um, which led to Jackie coming clean. She eventually told the truth. She did know that the clothes were in the bag. She didn't know which clothes were there, and it didn't really matter. But she confessed she knew they were there. And in the end of the day, she kept them. It's that theft. The other thing that came out with regards to being unfaithful, there were two occasions on which Jackie kissed and petted other people. I have agreed not to reveal those names, but only the initial of one, and that initial is L. It's Jackie's chance for a clean start. Jamie, you nodded there as if you knew who oh, this no, person, person was. Yes. And how do you feel? Uh, how do you believe me and your mates? Yeah. It was a peck, not slept. Yeah. I don't know if you that, Jack, and then you know it was. No, it wasn't. OK, oh, feel... ha but how do, you, how do you feel about oh, that? You're the... This is your, re your relationship, oh, feel, James. Feel a bit...